Hello guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to automatically sync your demos from Team Fortress 2 to Dropbox or Google Drive or SkyDrive. Um, it's really pretty simple. Uh, you'll need a few programs and uh, to start with you'll need a Dropbox or a Google Drive or SkyDrive, whichever you prefer. I recommend Dropbox because you can uh, set a limit on the speed, but I'll get on that later. Yeah, just hit download, sign up for an account if you don't have one already, and uh, install that. I've already got it installed, I won't show you that process. You'll also be needing PREC. Um, you can just Google PREC, there'll be a link in, in the description as well if you'd like, or in the forum posts if you're watching from there. Um, just get PREC, install it as, uh, as directed by this web page. I won't show you that process either, it's pretty simple. Just put it in custom under your TF folder. And now, depending on what you might want to do, um, you can download a program, and I'll show you the process for that. Uh, um, but you can also use a command prompt. It's if you're using Windows Seven, Vista, or Eight. Um, if you're afraid of using the command prompt, you know, uh, let's see, command. If you're afraid of this kind of thing, then s stick around. But if you if you don't want to install a program for one little thing. Uh, that you're not even going to touch again, and you don't want to deal with uninstalling it, then there will be an annotation you can click on to skip this part. But uh, yeah, there's a link to um, this website in the description or on the forum post. Dropbox folder sync. Uh, just hit download, install that. I've already got it downloaded and installed, so I won't show you that. Now, uh, once you've got everything installed, you want to go to your TF folder and uh, create a new folder. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it, let's see, Dropbox Demos. Doesn't matter what you call it. Um, this is where we're going to save our demos. And to do that, you'll want to go into, uh, by the way, this folder is your TF folder. It's under your program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and TF. You want to go to your config. You don't have to do it here, but uh, you can if you'd like. And open up your autoexec.config. And uh, somewhere in there, you can uh, type out prec underscore dir for directory and then in quotation marks because if there's a space in your name you'll need quotation marks uh, you want to put in the same exact name as what you named your folder and this is where we're going to save all of our demos at so you can you don't have to do that in your auto exec you can just launch team fortress 2 and do that um Next, you'll want to right-click, assuming you're still here for, from uh, installing Dropbox Folder Sync. You'll want to right-click that folder that you've made and uh, go through the context menu and click on Sync with Dropbox. We're going to let it do all that good stuff, ignore the sounds. It does not exist. Well, in any case, I don't really know why that's there. But um, as you can see on my Dropbox folder, it's here. <laughs> Not really sure why that error showed up, but under Dropbox, you'll see it's here. And uh, you'll see a shortcut symbol here. It's not really as if it's a shortcut, like your standard shortcut. This is a symbolic link. It's, uh, as you can see, the path file here is still this very same path file. But um, these folders are the exact same. So when you go into Team Fortress 2, we're going to get that launched here. All right. Oh, cool! I got some items. Sweet, Gerardi. All right. Prec underscore dir. Um, and then you can do this here. You you can do it in your auto exec, whichever you prefer, and name it your folder name. That's just fine and dandy. Now, um, after you do that, you're probably gonna go on your server or whatever assuming you're in comp UGC this is you see whatever you do and you have prec installed automatically recording demos from competitive matches and scrims you're probably gonna you know it's probably already gonna be set up once you do that but in case you're gonna record manually you're gonna do prec underscore record now I'm recording a demo and while this demo is recording I'm just gonna get killed over and over again You'll notice in Dropbox demos and under the TF folder, just like how we said, um, there's the demo right here. It's still recording, but um, you know it's there. 
and uh, if I refresh it'll probably change the size of it and everything. I'm gonna stop recording. Uh, here's the complete demo. It's about 1.3 megs. Um, that's how it is under TF. So the demo is still there, it's still accessible, but it's also in our Dropbox here. And it's, as you can see, the check mark here indicates that it's already been uploaded. We can go to the Dropbox website, sign in, gonna do all this stuff. Dropbox demos, here it is. And uh, you can set your uh, set your folder here to be publicly available, post the link somewhere, give it to your friend who's uh, just learning, or whatever, whatever you want to do with that. That's all there. And uh, let's see, let's play this demo. And go to demo UI, load it up. As you can see, the demo UI treats that Dropbox demo, because even though it's a shortcut, it's a hard shortcut, so it's as if it's actually there. And we're gonna get this. And here's the demo. Simple as that. Uh, once you've gone through that setup one time, you won't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, you might have some lag um, if you have a slow connection or if you're streaming. So if you're having problems with that while you're playing, just right-click Dropbox here, the icon on your um, taskbar. Go to the uh, option gear, preferences, bandwidth. It's currently set to limit automatically. That means that the max it will ever use is 75% of your upload. Um, if you're finding you have lag, set this to maybe like, like 100 kilobytes or whatever you feel is appropriate. It'll take longer to finish uploading, but you won't have any problems in game if you limit this bandwidth here. I'm gonna actually do that because I will be streaming later. Um, now that's the simple, you know, GUI method but you have to install that program and uh, you might not necessarily want to do that. So, uh, here's the other method. I'm going to go into the folders here. I'll quit TF2 for now. We're gonna delete this guy. Uh, he's still, that folder is still here, so, you know, I'm gonna delete anyway. And now, um, instead of installing that program, the Dropbox Folder Sync program, um, and having to uninstall that later, because you're probably not going to use it again after that, unless you find it useful, that's one thing, but you know. Um, go to File, if you're on Windows 8, you can do this. You go to File, Open Command Prompt, things like that. Uh, you don't have to, if you don't have that, you can go to Start, type Command, CMD, and go here. Um, and we're just going to do it from that one as if you were on Windows 7 or 8, or, or Vista, rather. Now, uh, Windows XP is going to be different. You'll need to download a program called Junction. Um, you'll have to get that from uh, this other page that I will have linked. Um, otherwise, Windows Vista 7 and 8 all are in the, have the same process. So, let's see. I'm going to get the path file of this folder here, TF folder, by uh, clicking this little file folder icon. If you don't have that, then you'll just have to figure out how to get this. It's pretty basic though. So the command is called make link, mk link. Uh, we're going to make a hard link, so that's slash j, capital J. The link is the link itself, the, the, very, the one with the little shortcut icon, so we're going to, in quotes, paste in our directory, our Team Fortress 2 TF directory, and uh, we'll, all, we'll also need to add in the name of the link, so we're going to call it Dropbox Demos. So. Uh, next the, is the target parameter, just uh, type in the target, so here's our Dropbox folder, so I'm going to copy this, put it in quotes, oops, not control V, you have to right click and paste. We're going to give it the same name. You don't have to have it uh, with the same name, but maybe it'll make it easier for you. And there you go, the junction's been created. Why is this happening? Oh, okay, right here. The reason this is happening is because I don't actually have a folder in here named Dropbox Demos. So we're going to create that. There we go. So now if I click this. This folder is the exact same as this one. Same process as what uh, this program does in a, in a GUI form. 
but saves you having to install something if you're not into that. Um, and then the rest of the process is the same as uh, previously. Um, all you have to do is go to your uh, config, auto exec, add in the command prec underscore dir, give it the same name as what you named your symbolic link under tf, Dropbox demos in this case, or you could do that in Team Fortress 2 itself, and uh, launch up tf2, record your demo, and it should automatically be uploaded to Dropbox. And I will demonstrate that one more time for those of you who skipped because they didn't want to install the program from before. Process in, uh, in Linux and Mac is similar. I don't know if they have GUI programs, you'll have to look it up, but uh, you can open up a terminal and do the same, similar at the very least. There will be a link for a uh, Linux method here. I believe the command is uh, ln, yeah, here it is, ln. Um, but you can follow these instructions to make a similar symbolic link if you're on Linux. Direct record if you're doing it manually. If it's doing it automatically, you won't have to worry about it. Also, remember prec underscore underscore dir if uh, you haven't set that in your auto exec. I don't know if you'll have to do that every time or just once. I'm pretty sure it will save though if you do it just the one time. And now uh, we're recording. And under my TF folder, here is the demo that's being recorded. Under my Dropbox folder, there is uh, the same exact demo. Same name. We're gonna hit stop now, finish that up. The demo is complete on this side, fully functional. On this side, it's got a little uh, little arrows there because it's uh, currently uploading right now with a, at a rate of only 10 kilobytes per second, so it's a bit slow from what I've limited it, limited it to before. You can make it faster if you so desire, like so. Um, and the demo, even while it's still uploading, I'm gonna go to demo UI, hit load, Dropbox demos, there it is, fully functional. You're not going to have any lag while doing this. The demos are also stored locally, so the uh, demos won't be taking a long time to load or anything. It's just all, all in the same area as where your Dropbox folder is. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, it's That's basically it. Um, if you're having lag, again, change your preferences. The same. This process is very similar for uh, Google Drive and SkyDrive, or OneDrive as it's called now, I believe. Uh, although, however, those applications do not have an ability to limit the upload speed automatically, so you'd have to use an external rate limiter or quality of service to not have lag in your games while recording demos. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, um, and I hope this helps.